good. We have assembled ourselves at a new adventure. This is not a strategic game. It is a Stadia game. It is a streamed game. Um, this is my first attempt at game streaming. I'm curious. We're going to find out if it works. The name of this game is the Turing Test. The test to find out if a machine is capable of thinking like or similar to a human. I know that. Well, let's dive into it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the performance is actually quite good. Um, what the... Surprise, to say the least. So if this base is managed by you, why can't you find the crew? The base's communication array is malfunctioning. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is working out not very well. Okay. Mm, so it seems we have to find two objects to place them in these holes. And one of it is there. Where's the other one? Well. Could you please pick it up? Yes, I know. Yeah. Ah, it's on and off. Okay. Ah, okay. This was easy. Okay. Well. Easy peasy for Canadian cheesy. Mm hmm. Okay, nothing works. Maybe here. Uh huh. We're still lacking one. Oh, ah, is this the one that we need to get? Ah, yes, it is. Okay. Uh, please let me in. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. This doesn't add up. What does not add up? If there was an accident, surely they'd come to find me, not try to lock me out. My instance is still resolving conflicts. I expect they have their reasons. Okay. Where is this leading? So this is leading into this machine. So these two are powering this up. And this is going... Ah, so these two are powering the... Ah, okay. Okay. So if I take this away... Yeah, the door closes. Mm hmm. Interesting. Okay, so this is not sufficient to power this up. Mm hmm. This is not getting us closer. Well, there is a window. So they might... Hello. I'm not a machine, I'm a human! Help me! Ah. Okay. Ah. Okay. Okay.
This is obviously the solution we're going in. Hello. Easy. Mm -hmm. My instance has just been updated. Uh, sorry? I have two instances of my mind, two separate versions. A slave mind running on the satellite, and a master running here on the surface. When the communication was cut between the surface base and the satellite, the two instances of my mind were separated. So, during all this time, all of my knowledge divided into two separate branches. I continue to learn on the satellite and I continue to learn on the surface. I am trying to merge the knowledge to create a timeline of what's happened here. But there are incongruities between these memories. Conflicts. Um, just so you know, you obviously noticed this is not the first, this is not the beginning of the game. We are at the early stages. I had heavy problems with my performance. It was stuttering and lagging and what? So I've played a few moments. Uh, we started, we are women, and we started on a spaceship and we um, went down on the planet to find a crew that didn't respond anymore. And obviously the crew was busy building the Turing test. The story isn't that great, <laughs> I know. Um, the problem was um, the Chrome hardware acceleration. Obviously it's not working as intended and when I deactivated the hardware acceleration in the Chrome browser uh, all the problems are now gone. So if you have the same problem you know what to do. Okay, um, so we have this and we need to solve this problem. What is this doing? Okay, so I guess we have to take... This wasn't clever, was it? Okay, yes, this was clever. First and second. Okay, we have to climb somehow. There is one ball. Flaming gas illuminating planet Earth. One. Okay. And a two. And a three. And a four. And a fifth. And a sixth. And we're done. Not quite yet. This is the command center. You can check on the crew status from here. Ashiyama or Ashiyama. Mm -hmm. Looks good. And just if you don't know, Stadia is currently free two months for everyone. Maybe because of Corona, maybe uh, Google is trying to um, promote their service um, who knows? Okay, next. Mm -hmm. We'll get into the Stadia thing later. Right now, I'd like to immerse myself into this game. And we're going to talk about uh, Google's recent attempt of uh, getting world domination and um, utterly failing, um, as usual. Not in hardware, but also in software. It's interesting. I like this. This should be the standard in all uh, games, looking at objects from all points of view. Even though this polygon count is very low. Uh -huh. Ah, a map of the building? Drilling platform. A Europa's drilling platform is the largest outside of Earth. At 40 meters high, it is one of the tallest machines on any moon. The drill has bored to a depth of 4 kilometers and recovered over 1 million kilograms of material. 1 megaton. 
uh, from deep underneath the surface. This level of extraction is made possible by utilizing the Ashiyama electric fusion reactor. Oh boy, science fiction again. Mm -hmm. Ah, the entrance. I landed mm, around here and I had to walk to the entrance. Europa loading bay. Mm, status compromised. What? Transferred material unknown. Crew transfer unknown. Signal interrupted. Europa's ground base built using thousands of tons of resources shipped to Europa through an interplanetary network. Mm -hmm. Europa's base modules. Crew 4. Status damaged. Repair disabled. Pressure 100,100 and 300 Pascal. To 82,403 Pascal, okay. Oxygen 21%, Nitrogen 78, Argon 0 0.9, CO2 0 0.06. That's not, not great, not terrible. Europa's base is built beneath Europa's surface, buried in Terra Macula's ice. Its modular nature allows it to be reconstructed according to the mission's needs at any time. Um, no, I would like to go into the settings. Is this? Yes, please. The amount of background noise is ridiculous. I'm going to turn this a little bit down and the music a little bit. Okay. Did he? Eh? Could you please? Okay. How can I? If I press A, nothing happens. Is the ah apply? Okay. Okay. This is better. Okay. So there is one entrance or the other. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six buildings, and they call it. What you interesting guy. Mm, okay, so we're done. Ah, okay. This is what is this a radio? Yeah, it's probably a radio. A map Madison Gibberish Deuterium Tritium Lithium. Heat dispensers, coolant cells, uh -huh. environment, consumables, frozen meals, vegetarian, tortillas, pack of noodles, vacuum, sealed snacks, potatoes, lettuces, ice cream sandwiches. Only 18 remain. Oh, boys, it's not good. We have Dr. Soichi Zhu. Zhui? I apologize. Birthplace Tokyo, Japanese, 2200, exobiologist, synthesized DNA duplicates of sample 927. Outstanding tasks, investigate sample 937, classify all life recovered, what? Life recovered? Sequence sample 1387 to 500, okay, 15. Ava Turing. Oh, Turing? Are you the robot? Regensburg, Germany. Nationality American. What? American born German. Mm -hmm. 2211, April 26th. Engineer investigating communications crisis. Contact ISA, contact ground team and review Fortuna's diagnostics. Where you failed? Mikhail Tokarev, uh, MD. Oh boy, he's the doctor. Medical doctor. Klushino, Russia, Russian, 2202, December 19th, doctor. Terminate. What? Keep calm. What the? F Chris McLean, Lunebourg, Canada, Canadian, 2204, September 9th, engineer, terminator, ter terminated? What the termi what? Dr. Sarah Brooke, birthplace in Damascus, Syria, joint British and, and Syrian, 2210. Oh, she's the youngest a lot. 
fifth, fifteenth. Exobiologists classify organism. What organism? Classify all life recovered. Sequence sample ten four three one three eight seven. That's another sample. Yeah, she had rest. One two. Uh, yes. One three eight seven, and she is beginning where she's ending at. One three eight seven. Okay. Captain Daniel McLean. So he's a military. Mm, Lunebor Canada. Okay. So these have a con. To, Okay, Chris McLean and Daniel McLean are obviously brothers. And they have a connection. Both Canadian, both... Oh, they are twins. Both born on the same day. Okay, so Daniel and Chris are twins. One is military and the other one is obviously an engineer. Yeah, captain. Classified, classified. Oh boy, he's dead and he's classified. Um, lost he got, ta-ta. Um, what? I didn't want to do that? Am I not supposed to press on this? What happens if I... Ah, interesting, okay. Okay, signal 1500 gigabits per second. Last known location control, what? Control room? I hope her remains are not somewhere here. I thought this was a Turing test, not a horror game um body temperature it's okay 64 beats per minute it's also okay 15 breaths per minute <laughs> okay 115 systolic 74 diastolic breath pressure 120 80 70 okay oxygen saturation 95 percent okay seat pressure unknown okay Losing her parents at a young age, Ava Turing was sent to military engineering school. Shortly after graduating, she enlisted in the US Navy and trained as a pilot. Due to her exemplary service record and willingness to leave Earth for extended periods of time, Turing was recruited by the ISA. On the exploratory mission to Jupiter's Europa, Turing's role aboard the Fortuna is engineer and vehicle officer. Dr. Soichi Yu had no childhood interest in space travel. Instead, he spent his youth studying the life in Lake Biwa, near his hometown. Yui went on to study marine biology and chemistry at Kyoto University. After the tragic death of his wife, Erin, he disappeared into his work, re-emerging 11 years later as a pre-eminent exobiologist. Why is this getting darker? Did I do something wrong? Uh huh. Okay, so I look. If I look at the Russian, it gets darker. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> is this a subtle message or is this something that I should. Okay. Chris McLean. Identical triplet. Oh, triplets. Oh, okay, so. Okay, interesting. His father is an electrician and his mother is a mechanical engineer. Following in his mother's footsteps, Chris trained as an engineer. The McLean triplets become famous as Chris and Dan took to space, leaving their brother Peter behind. Okay, he's not there. Although an accomplished engineer, his place on this mission was also partly due to his ISA being interested in the long-term effects of space travel. Test results will be compared to those of Peter McLean. Yeah, this is actually a thing in um, space travel. Twins, uh, brothers, related. Um, that's that's very interesting for science. For example, if you place twins in the same atmosphere, do both of them react the same way? You should you, sh you should think yes. Well, it's always always the case. Okay. And there is the Russian. And our screen is getting darker again. What what is this? Mikhail. Dokarev's father died of cancer, I'm sorry, at a young age. This motivated him to become a doctor in hopes of helping others. It's very honorable. Dokarev worked as a medical doctor in Russia for three years before working for the UN as a doctor in crisis. His role on the Europa mission is chief medical officer. Okay. And there is Dr. Sarah Brook. Birthplace Syria, oh yes. Sarah Brooks' parents are both scientists in her teenage years. She was sent to an English public boarding school. 
Brooke is one of the most eminent exobiologists of the 23rd century. For her formative work on the Mars Discovery Project, she was specifically requested to be part of the Europa ground team. Though only 28 years old, Sarah has touched the surface of two planetoids and spent more time on alien soil than any other member of mankind, except the Mars team. Okay. Uh, signal unknown, unknown uh, crew quarters, last known locations, okay. Everything else is unknown. Okay, crew quarters. Crew quarters, crew quarters, control room, crew quarters. Okay, so Ava Turing should be here somewhere. Is there something that... No. So there's nothing here uh, of any use to us. No. No. Ashiyama Industries. Uh -huh. Okay. I like this. Where's the battery? Future is awesome. Okay, so this is a um, kind of communications device. Okay, for some reason there is no one in the control room. Everyone's gone. Okay. Tom, start recording. I am always recording, Daniel. The day is January the 6th. My watch says it's 2.30 on Earth. Here we are, members of the human race, standing on Jupiter's moon Europa. I am Captain Daniel McLean. I'm joined here by the rest of my team. It is our intention to make this moon our home and investigate life on this planet. Man's curiosity and appetite for discovery will continue to change our world for the better. Inspiring. And might I add my congratulations to you all. Uh, Tom uh, seems to be the AI behind everything. like to make this a little bit yes oh I didn't setting yes um, seems to be a sort of uh, intelligence created synthetically by humans of course um, the dream of discovering other planets mm, the big one you should listen to elon musk sometimes even though we might not experience that because humanity is too busy fighting and killing each other instead of looking out for the stars which which is kind of the pity maybe that will change one day maybe here it is beautiful isn't it seriously the background noise is ridiculous. What makes this one more remarkable than the other? The way it attaches itself to other organisms. Its behavior is very abnormal. It seems to form a symbiotic relationship with most life forms. How do you mean? Do you want me to dumb it down? I know what it's still too loud. Is this even mute? I, I apologize. I'm. If I turn this down. But it's not parasitic. It's quite alien. Okay, so it is the right setting. I was just a little bit confused because it's so loud. Ah, ah. Oh, seriously, Google, why make a game where you have to apply every setting? Okay. We're trying to figure out what effect it has on my phone. Here okay. it is. Beautiful, isn't it? What makes this one more remarkable than the other? 
the way it attaches itself to other organisms. Its behavior is very abnormal. It seems to form a symbiotic relationship with most life forms. How do you mean? Do you want me to dumb it down? I know what it means. What does it do? It attaches itself to almost anything living, but it's not parasitic. It's quite alien. Mm-hmm. We're trying to figure out what effect it has on life forms. Seriously, dude, this sounds like a hugger from Alien, and that's certainly a parasite. Mikael, you seem distant. Do I? Yes. What's wrong? What's wrong, Mikael? Mikael, what's wrong? Are you listening, Mikael? Are you able to hear? Okay, so Mikael is not able to hear. I was talking to the ISA. They don't know what to do with this. The magnitude of the discovery. We should send samples back to Earth. I think we need to get this to a better lab. Me and folks here are having trouble making that claim. We're going to run out of the necessary resources to continue studying organism 119. They're calling for a grounding of all your robot transports until they get your report. Seriously? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's rather drastic. 119. Okay. Interesting. This is actually genius. Attach off plus and minus volume on loudspeaker. Well, the future is awesome. Oh, Jupiter. Eurocentric orbit, distance to sun 778 million five hundred thousand. No, 52, no, 524, I'm, it's too late, 524, uh, thousand kilometers, orbit inclination 3.1 degree, current orbital velocity 47,002 kilometers, velocity, velocity hour, <laughs> uh, eccentricity, Equatorial radius 69911 escape velocity 216,720 kilometers. Jupiter is the second largest physical body in our solar system. It has a large gravitational what? impact with stri- which stretches and squashes Europa. This creates a geothermal energy inside Europa, a source of great heat. This has created a subsurface ocean. Interesting. Gravitational impact. Geothermal energy. Source of great heat. Okay. Interesting. Can we change this again? Ah, yes. Europa. Europa's surface is constantly facing Jupiter as it rotates. It is tidally locked to it, though it uh, now uh, it's been discovered that the rocky interior rotates separately underneath the ice and water layers. What? Separately rotating? That seems off. Fortuna. Fortuna is in low orbit around Europa. This is where we, well, woke up. It can house a crew of 12. It serves as a communication and transport link between Earth and Europa's surface base. Okay, so this is it. Very interesting. Run! Seriously? This is a game that runs on Google's super mega powerful servers and we have loading times? Okay, interesting. What the? Uh, maybe I should place a warning. For people who what might get ill. I expect to find the ground crew in? Daniel went missing days ago. Chris is presumed dead. We are expecting to find Sarah, Mikhail, and Sochi in a stable condition. Chris is dead. He was involved in an accident. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so goodbye. And thank you. Okay, so we need two of these. Where is the other one? Okay, same trick, and we're done. Could we take a more direct way to the ground team? Unfortunately, there is not a direct route. The base is buried under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Similar to the Mars base. Okay, so there, there is a magnet. Europa's base is slightly deeper into the surface. There is more radiation present from solar events on Mars. Hmm. But Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa. Okay, interesting. Oh, okay. This seems rather straightforward. Just have to place this into the magnet and it's detaching every few seconds, so we just have to place it above this place. Oops. Could you now please deattach? Why is this not deattaching? Okay, this works out as well. Ah, so the other one was malfunctioning, I guess. Okay, another one? Uh, okay. Guess I have to place this into the magnet. And bring it over. Bam! Maybe this is enough. I'm not sure. Uh, certainly not. Okay. Thank you. And we're done. Okay, what are their chances of survival here? Oxygen, the food stores, waste management. Everything seems to be in order. There was a small problem with the food stores, but the crew fixed that up. We successfully transitioned over to a sustainable small artificial ecosystem a year ago, growing fruit and vegetables. It helps boost morale. The crew members could hypothetically survive here for their whole lifetimes. Self-sustaining is something very important if you want to live out in space. Okay, so another magnet. Um, probably another box, yes, of course. I guess we have to place this magnet here. I think we have to get Oh, this is this a uh, expanding platform, or can we change the direction of this platform? Oh, we see. Okay, so there's nothing there, nothing there. Okay. Here you go. Ah, <laughs> okay. Uh, this was not responsible for the magnet. Okay. Hmm. Okay, what was the meaning of this device? Mm-hmm. Well, this is not working particularly well. 
Why does this have to look up, maybe? Hmm. Strange. No, nothing new. Can we somehow activate this lift? Well, it had energy, so that's not the problem. What is happens if we do this? Well, we can still move the magnet. That would be of any use. Maybe there's something over there that we're missing. Mm. No. We're not missing anything. How are we supposed to get this up if the magnet is not... Ah! Oh, of course. We have to activate the magnet first. Oh, of course. I could have seen that one. And thank you. Nope. Uh, in there? Yes. And we're done. And this thumbs up uh, this particular episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, it's better than expected. Mm, there's not also... Uh, the, the game is okay. It looks good. Um, but I'm surprised that the Stadia connection is solid. I mean, the, the audio quality is solid. Mm, it looks good. Um, it's more than expected. Maybe cloud gaming. I mean, the problem is we don't have modifications. If, as long as we don't have any decent modifications, the cloud gaming system is of course dead. But as a first try, say it's, it's acceptable. So stay healthy, stay tuned, and we're going to see us next time.